folks, welcome back to Pickers. The hot category is movie memorabilia. This is going to be a great one. We are going straight to Patrick Merman's apartment. Um, some of you may remember, Broderick Fagin has got a little bit of movie memorabilia. Uh, we've also got Esther Dowdy's home, which is good for, I think, clothing and jewellery and stuff like that. I know she's got a lot of that sort of thing. Um, where else? I don't think anywhere else is too movie-based, but most of the good movie stuff is over at Patrick Merman's. Um, so let's go over there and see what we want to buy. Obviously anything we can put together in a set is good. Um, I don't think Broderick Fagan had anything in a set, but look at some of this stuff. We've got a gorilla costume. Is that movie memorabilia? It is. It's... Wow, yeah. I think we're probably taking that. Definite. Um, what else has he got? A sci-fi movie poster. Is that movie? It is. Neptunian robot invasion. Okay, okay. We'll take that. What else you got over here? What's this? An amethyst. A T-Rex skull. That's got to be an artifact thing. A relic, yeah. Uh, he's got some bagpipes by the looks of things. A Ferris wheel chair. A beanbag chair. Um, unicycle. Some sort of video game cabinet. Uh, surfboard, pinball machine. Whoops. Oh, well, there's another poster there. Octopus movie poster. That's pretty good. We'll take that as well. There's all sorts of, like, posters and stuff in this place. Uh, that's an action figure. What, does that come under toys? Yeah. Okay, we don't want that. Is there a key? Don't see a key on that. Well, maybe we've already found it. I know we've picked up a couple. We did come here and have a look, didn't we? Uh, the tricky thing with this is finding out... Oh, I wonder if that goes with one of the guns we've got. It's finding out which of these posters are actually posters you can buy and which are just, you know, part of the display. Uh, what is the samurai sword? Military. Have we done military yet? I don't think we have. I don't think we've had police and fire either, have we? Or medical. Pharmacy and medical. So we've still got quite a few decent categories to go. There's a Geiger counter there. Vintage technology. Can't take the Z thing. I wasn't sure if it was movement real or not. Video game console. A mace. Oh my god. Houdini's straight jacket. Police and fire of all things. Oh my god. What's this? An Apollo 11 model. Space is going to become a thing then. We'll probably be able to get a few space things from here. Uh, looks like some sort of baseball cards. Football and hockey cards. Uh, some currency there. We haven't had currency either, I don't think. Have we? Stamps and currency. Fossilised insects. A Bigfoot photo. Political and news memorabilia. Holy shit, I don't think we've had that category either. There's there's quite a lot we haven't had. Um, a vintage kids lunchbox. I think that's all we're going to get from in here. We might have to go back outside. Uh, how do I back up from here? Just there? Yep. Circus animal stool. There's quite a lot of circus based stuff as well, isn't there? Circus banner. Thomas Jefferson letter. Any of these posters real? Harry Houdini poster. Decorative collectible. Wow, that might be all we've got for in terms of move memorabilia. It's got a lot more circus stuff than I thought he did. Can we examine over here? Got more video game related stuff. What's this? A baseball stand. An amber ring. I don't see a key either. Anybody see a key? Sort of half expected it to be in the fish tank or TV or whatever that's meant to be, but it's not. Okay, so we've got three items anyway. We'll take these three items off his back, off his hands, and then I guess we'll go see Broderick Fagan and see what he's got. Um Wheel of Chance. Game memorabilia. Very nice. Okay then, Patrick. Okay. What have we got here? Three and a half thousand. Let's see if we can get 50 off. There we go. That didn't affect his mood too much either. We sort of got away with that, so that was nice. Um, so yeah, these Z things. Zip Man. It must be the fictional hero that this guy's obsessed with. Because if you notice, he's got Zipman poster there, Zipman poster there. The Z thing in the other room was a Zipman base. Look there. This is a Zipman thing. 
this box. So he's obviously got a slight obsession with this Zip Man, whoever he is. And all these, oh look, all these as well. This must be his comics, his Zip Man comics in the drawers. Oh my god. Sounds like such a weird superhero. Like, what would Zip Man's powers be? It's just covered in zips. Uh, let's head to Broderick Fagan's. We still need four more movie memorabilia items. And I know this guy's got some costume pieces and what have you. Uh, so let's have a look. Not the robe. Um, what were the good bits? What were the good bits? I knew he had some. The vampire kit. That was one of them, wasn't it? That was movie memorabilia. Pirate hook. That's maritime. We don't want it. Uh, crossbow. is a real crossbow. We don't want that. Uh, was the peg leg maritime? Yeah, it was. Okay, so we've got a vampire kit. Uh, what else have you got in here, Broderick? Oh, wasn't he like a film script over here? Shakespeare manuscript. That's literature. Oh, man, if we get literature, we're coming back for that. A film canister. Here we go. So we need a film. We need a film to go in the film canister. Where have we seen a film? Has Body Fagan got the film for it? Wasn't... In fact, what is the organ? Is that movie as well? Music. Oh, of course it is. Of course it is. Staff. Clothing. Where was the bonus section? Here it is. Film. Film reel. We did it. We got a film reel and film canister. Uh, toy hearse I don't want. Falconer's glove. Is that clothing? Yeah, it's clothing. Okay, we need one more movie item. I know he's got something else. I just don't know what he's got. The suit of armor is no good. That's going to be military. He's got nothing else in that box. Maybe it's downstairs. What's he got down here? We've got a pirate flag, which is maritime. Uh, what about... What's this? A crystal ball. What was the crystal ball? Is that a relic? Decorative. Of course it is. Um, that's the sword for the suit of armor. That is a gladiator shield. Is that a real gladiator shield? Yes, it is. Got some strange wheelchair. We've got a battle axe, an executioner's axe, which again is genuine article, not a prop. Ah, werewolf mask. Yes, there we go. That's what we wanted. Okay, that's a full set of move memorabilia. Uh, let's take it. What can we get off here? Uh, Budget Fagin is not massively happy with us. So... Let's, tr let's try 50. Yeah, okay, we got away with it. Should get a good bonus. The film the film should be worth something. I'm definitely eager to put that back together and see what that's worth. Uh, the gorilla costume and the poses are quite expensive. They should be quite nice. I'm not expecting much from the vampire kit or the werewolf mask, but you never know. Sometimes they surprise you. auction all this stuff off then. Uh, right, we need to reassemble the film with the film canister. We'll get a film reel in original canister. Oh, that's got to be worth a fortune. Let's sell that last. Let's go with the gorilla costume first. We paid thirteen hundred for this. What can we get? Oh, there we go. It started. Oh, that was pretty shit, really. Wow, we actually lost $30 on that. That was terrible. Jeez. We should have tried to knock Patrick Merman down a bit more, I think. Uh, and a Chilean robot invasion poster. $12.80. I'm not feeling that good about it now after seeing the, uh, the Gula costume fail so hard. Oh, it's at least we at least we got profit. Still not fantastic though. After the cut, that only loses a hundred dollars. That is not good. This one's slightly better. Seven hundred and ninety-five. This cost us. 
Well, we're gonna need higher than that. Oh my god, we made a loss on that as well. This was a terrible category. Jesus, that just wiped out the profit on both of our items. That film wheel better bloody go well. Okay, vampire hunting kit. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, that's not too bad. That's better. There we go. Bit more? Okay. Not terrible. 400. At least we're back in profit. Werewolf mask. You watch. I wasn't expecting much from this. This will be the runaway star of the show now. No, the bids are going up very slow. Oh no, there they go. Oh, okay. Only a short spike though. Still. It's profit, it's profit, we're not going to complain. Now this, this should do it for us today, surely. $215 invested in this. It's already started the bid at 200 This is going to be big. This is going to be big. Couple of thousand, calling it now. Holy balls. The poor guy almost had a heart attack reading all that out. Two and a half thousand. Ho oh, ho. Now that's, that's a good sale. That is a bloody good sale. Made a profit of 3,804. That's easily enough to keep us in the lead. Uh, would have liked a bit more than that. Pharmacy and Medical. Pharmacy and Medical has come up. That's okay. We've got a hell of a lot of options for that. Um, I think Broderick Fagan's is the place to go to start with. Uh, let's have a look around what he's got first. We don't want to commit too early because I know there is quite a lot of Pharmacy and Medical stuff around now. Uh, so, what did you have that we wanted? You have this stretcher, 125. It's not amazing, but it's not terrible. Um, there's a messel, a mortar, sorry, which we need the pestle for. We have definitely seen the pestle somewhere. I think we want that. I think we want that. We'll have to make sure we can find the pestle for it, but I'm pretty sure we're taking the pestle and mortar. That's going to take two slots. Um, but again, the profit on a combined item is is worth it. This thing, the incubator, 285. I like that. I feel like that could be good for us. Uh, we've got a hospital gurney, 130. None of them are particularly expensive items. Wheelchair. These are all things we could take. There's a crutch, again, quite cheap. Doesn't pair with anything. We definitely want to find that pestle. Uh, pharmacy and medical. I know we've seen some other stuff. Oh, horror film coffin. We never bothered getting the coffin. I bet that would have gone well. Doctor scale. That might go well. 380. 380. I'd say that's a high one to to think about. Um, but we need that pestle. We definitely want that pestle. Uh, let's have a quick look at Lizzie's place. Maguire's gas station. She had something in here. I'm sure she did. She was safe. An ice cream maker. What's that? A bread box. Didn't she have something? There's a pistol there. I'm thinking something on the lines of a... Something to do with pills or something. There's a coffee grinder. I'm sure we saw something in here that was medical based. Oh, that could just be going nuts. Dictation machine. Oil can. What's over here? Hair tonic bottle. Is that what I was thinking of? It is. Hair tonic bottle. Don't know, does that sound good? Sounds a bit dicey, doesn't it? Polygraph. That will be police and fire. Payphone. No, I must have imagined her having something else. I don't know what I thought it was that she had, but it's not here now. Um, what's that fridge? No, I don't think I don't think this is going to be any good to us. Who else has pharmacy and medical? We might have to have a look around everywhere. I think to get the most out of this one. We definitely, there's definitely a pestle somewhere. And we're going to have to find it. We can't not get the pestle and mortar. That's just, it's worth too much to us at this stage. 
Um, it's definitely a very, very viable thing. Okay, Lizzie, you've not got an awful lot down here for us, have you? Not in the way of pharmacy and medical, you haven't. Uh, there's a nurse sign, but that's part of the signs and signals thing. Ring box. Romance novels. Bicycle basket. No, nah, definitely nothing from Lizzie. Okay, Miller Storage, I'm pretty sure doesn't have much in the way of pharmacy and medical, but it's worth having a bit of a look. What is this? A printing press? Holy crap. Uh, a drill book, a movie screenplay. Oh, look at that. We Oh, we should have come, come and got that. That would have been a good one for the movie memorabilia, I bet you. Can't believe we didn't think of that. Military knapsack, some sort of ship painting that needs a frame by the looks of things. Um, there's nothing else of any particular interest down here. Pharmacy and medical, none of that. Definitely not. Inside, fog on. Paint gun. No, you've got nothing we want in here. Let's have a quick look in Ray Atkins' bus. There's definitely nothing on the outside. Uh, banjo, some sort of jukebox. Some arrowheads. Let's have a look behind the seats. Fishing, maps. Nope, don't want that. What's on this side? Uh, no, okay. Don't want any of that. Who has got the pestle then? I know we've seen it somewhere. It's just a matter of finding it. That's the hard part. Uh, nope. Can we walk forwards a little bit? I don't know where where it is. I don't know where we've seen it. I just know we have seen it somewhere. I remember picking it up. It's one of those things, when it's in your head, you know you've seen it. And then you've got to try and find out where the hell it was. Actually. <laughs> this toothpick is pharmacy and medical. I'm almost tempted to take that. It's been sitting there for so long. I feel like we should probably pick that up. Who knows? You never know in this game what is going to be worth something and what isn't. What is that? Generator. Okay, it doesn't look like you've got it. It's definitely not over there. Carlisle Antiques? Was it you, maybe? Did you have a pestle? What is that? A soda fountain dispenser. Don't want it. Toy gun, that goes with the holster that Patrick Merman's got. Nothing else there that we want. Okay, inside. What have you got in here? Got any pestles? Any pestles in here? It's a fishing reel. Don't want it. Got some shoes, a fondue set. What looks like a snooker cue. Oh, it's a walking stick. What does that go with? Walking stick. Find a grip for it. Oh. I wonder if we've seen a grip anywhere. Not that it's any good to us at the moment. I'm not seeing a pestle. I'm not seeing the pestle. Where the fuck was it? But you guys are just screaming at me now, aren't you? We know it's somewhere. We've got a razor, we've got a fire axe, some sort of motorbike. Nope, don't want the plow. I want the thing to look at. It's not in there. Is it in this one? Left headlight. No, it's not in here either. Upstairs? Likely. No. There's no more areas, is there? Okay, so you've not got it either. Thaddeus, have you got it? You got a pestle hiding around in here somewhere for us? 
It doesn't look like it. What is that? Reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. Oh. That's quite nice. It's not what we, what we want right now, though, Thaddeus. Wooden icebox. Someone's got this goddamn pestle and they know it. That's an actual barber pole. Holy crap. There we go. What's in here? You got anything in here? Anything interesting for us? There's the cane handle. There's the pestle. There it is. Found it. Okay. We will take your pestle. That's a definite. You got any more medical stuff in here, Thaddeus? Anything you're not telling us about? A pedestal? Don't want it. I was just curious. Uh, nothing else looks to be medical. What is that? Display stand. For a relic of some description. Uh, okay, okay. We'll take this off you. Has he got anything? I don't think he's got anything else at all, has he? No, okay, Thaddeus. We'll take this. <sighs> have to pay you $15 for it, and I? I don't really have a choice. Uh, and then, back to Broderick Fagin's. We'll definitely get the mortar. And to be honest, we're struggling to find things, so I'm probably going to take a bunch of stuff off of Fagin. So... What do we want? What do we think is going to be the... In fact, give me this first. Oh, you bastard. Okay. I'll take this first, then we'll go have a quick look elsewhere, and then we'll come back to you. Patrick Merman, I don't think, has got anything in the way of medical supplies, but you never know. We'll just have a quick look. What is that? A carnival scale. No. Ah. Microscope? Pharmacy and medical. Okay. Yes, we will take that. Um... I get the feeling that's all he's got in that department. Houdini's straight jacket was police and fire. Even though, really, when you think about it, that should be medical. Uh, what's the Geiger counter? Vintage tech. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? No, I think that's it. Right, give us this. Uh, I want some good money off this. Give us 125 off. Excellent. Uh, who else have we got? We've got Esther Dowdy's place. We could have a quick look in there. And that's it, I think. We've checked everywhere for medical stuff. I don't think Lizzie's got anything. Okay, so this is the new place we've unlocked. Uh, there's a bath on the roof straight away, which is hardware. A uh, bunch of signs, another barber's pole. Oh my god, a whole window. Jeez. That's worth quite a bit. Hairdryer chair, jewelry and vanity. See, that's the category that she's got a lot of. If you get that early on, you're boned because most of it is in her place. Antique music box, antique fridge, a antique carousel horse, some sort of foosball table, uh, a hand mirror. Is that jewelry and vanity? Yeah. This thing, flash bulbs. What the fuck? A tea tray. I'm not seeing a key on this either. Is anyone? Don't see a key, which is a bit odd. Got a candy cart, cuckoo clock, a parasol, a hat box. Again, not seeing a key on that one either. How many keys have we got left? Twelve. Pink flamingo. We don't want him. The carpet there, there is a hand crank sewing machine on the roof. Vase of plow pot, whatever it is, a vacuum, a croquet set, an organ stool. <gasps> Does that go with the organ? Wow. That could be a big deal for us. That could be a very big deal. There's a key. That was a big key. Very well hidden that one. Uh, do we see any more? Any more stuff? There's a bird bath. A bird cage. A rocking chair. Okay, there's nothing 
to particularly interest us outside. There is a way inside, so we'll nip in and have a look in there. Key. Uh, right, we've got a bassoon. Holy crap, I can't wait for music to come up. There's some great stuff here. A bustle dress. Uh, some sort of poster for a carnival. A slide rule. Vintage tech. Telephone base. I've seen the handset for that somewhere. Folding camera. There's a harp. What's this? A thimble collection. Player piano roll. Jefferson's wig. Holy balls. A wax seal stamp. Straight razor case. I've seen the razor. Is that does that come under medical? Oh, vanity. Okay. Japanese stamp stamps is one we haven't dealt with yet. There's a lot of options for that. A jewelry armoire, a tapestry, a hand crank record player, a cuddly toy. <laughs> ah, there's the ring for the jewelry box, and the coffee pot. Do not see a key on there. What's this? A lazy Susan. Silverware. Tea set. She has not got anything that's really of interest to us. Pharmacy and medical is a bit of a crap category. There's only so much that you can really do with it. So back to Fagan's, I guess. Right, Fagan, we're back. We're back to take all your pharmacy and medical bullshit. Let's go downstairs. Let's get the gurney. Let's get the crutch. Let's get the incubator. And the wheelchair. Let's have a quick look at these. 75, 290, 245, and 135. We might drop the crutch for the other thing. In fact, what is... Can I get the actual cabinet behind that if I put something back no it's not real okay drop the crutch for a sec uh, let's should we go back upstairs and have a look at the stretcher stretchers worth slightly more we'll take that I guess uh, so oh god these are the things we want please Fagin 740 Give us 50 off since you stiffed us last time, you bastard. Okay, that's our stuff. It's not the best category, pharmacy and medical. I get the feeling the last place that you can open might have had one or two things to contribute towards that, but again, not an awful lot. I think, if anything, the, uh, the, the messel... Uh, messel? I keep calling it a messel. The pestle and mortar should be the star attraction for this. Mortar and pestle, uh, which we will sell last. Let's go in. Let's go in hard and heavy with the antique microscope. It costs us eleven seventy. It's gonna take some doing, I think. Wow. Okay. Pretty much instant profit there. Excellent. Not a huge amount, but better than nothing. It's a good solid start. Uh, hospital gurney. Who would buy a hospital gurney? That's such a weird thing to actually buy, isn't it? Wow. Oh, I thought we were going to lose money on it then. There we go. It's going to put a slight amount. Oh. And then it just suddenly starts running away. Oh. <laughs> Higher than expected. Considering what we paid for it, that was a damn good profit. Pretty much tripled. Uh, wheelchair, hey, 210 no, paid. No, 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 no. It's going no, up. No, no, no. Is it going to get any further? No, no, no. A little bit. Ooh, no, no, no. quite a bit. No, no, no. Again, not terrible. 333. Can't argue with that. It's all solid profit. Oh, I don't want to set price. I clicked the wrong button. I want to auction it. 
25 yeah, starting out and paid 110. I'm pretty yeah, sure this will hit it now. It seems to be going okay. It's only small profits though. It's not making us a fortune. I suppose it's better than making a loss like we do with some of the movie stuff. I wish we'd have gone and picked up that bloody film script. I knew there was one somewhere. I just didn't realise it was at Thingy's place. 250 for the incubator. Come on, make us a good profit on this one. Let's finish on a high. That's not great. No, that's not great. After their cut, that's $40. That's terrible. Okay. The mortar and pestle. There we go. This is going to do well. 45 it costs us. Bidding starting at 50, so we're already in profit. We've got to get a few hundred for this. Come on, three or four hundred at least. That's not looking good. Oh, there we go. It's creeping up. Creeping. There we go. 470. Yeah, okay. I'm happy with that. Anything over that's a bonus, really. 486. We'll take that. Still the star of, star of the show there. Absolutely fantastic work. Uh, we only got two days done. That was quite a long day that second one. It was a pr pretty hard category to make sure we didn't fuck up. Uh, but we didn't. We made it through, I think. We we did okay there. Um, I was wrong about the keys, by the way. There's not 12 left. 54 is how many we've collected. 40 was the target to open the bonus game. So I don't know exactly how many keys are left. Uh, we'll just have to keep an eye out and see. But that is it. That's it for this episode. We'll close the shop. We made only two and a half grand that day, which is not great, but we're still we're still quite far ahead, so it's okay. Eleven days left. Next category is jewelry and vanity. Now that we've got that place, that old lady's place open, that's going to be a piece of piss. So next episode, folks, jewelry and vanity. I'll see you then. Bye bye.